When most people take off their glasses, everything becomes fuzzy, except when they're wearing these contact lenses, which help you see without anybody being aware that you've even got them on. Contact lenses have been in existence for over a century. At first completely rigid, they have now become gas permeable and as flexible as gelatin. These small polyhema discs are used to make soft polymer contact lenses in a variety of colors. We see here a patient's prescription, essential to the fabrication of lenses. The process begins with data processing control of the shaping. Data is supplied by computer, which controls a digital lathe. They begin by shaping the inner curvature of the lens. This digital lathe, rotating at 6,000 revolutions per minute, is equipped with an industrial diamond. It shapes the inner surface, the part that touches the cornea. It must be free from any abrasion and imperfection, and is polished with a super fine abrasive paste. Polishing is a crucial step because it assures excellent comfort and perfect vision. A technician measures lens thickness with an extremely precise gauge. They now shape the outer surface, the part which touches the eyelid. The lens is glued with a special warm wax, and when the lens is completed, the wax will be removed by an ultrasound device. The wax takes on the desired shape in just seconds. The comfort of a lens is also determined by its thickness. It must be as thin as possible while retaining sufficient solidity. They begin by shaping the outer diameter of the lens, which takes only a few seconds. They now polish the outer surface of the lens. This polishing, done at high speed, calls for an abrasive paste, some oil, and a small polyester cotton ball. This apparatus polishes several lenses at the same time, a step that takes only 60 seconds. With everything computerized, quality is incomparable. A technician then polishes the rims of the lens. The polymer is then hydrated to make it flexible. Lenses remain immersed in a balanced pH saline solution for 24 hours. The lens becomes engorged with liquid and expands, reaching the desired proportions. This optical topographer is used to verify, through color distribution, whether the spread of optical power in the lens is precise enough to assure perfect vision. And now we proceed with another important testing procedure. The soft, fragile lenses are always handled with the greatest of care. This unit, called a frontofocal meter, is a metering device which verifies the optical precision of the lens. Lenses are now completed and are clean, and they're stored in containers filled with a salt solution. This little vial that we find at optometrists is perfectly sealed with a silicone cap and another of aluminum. These vials are placed in a sterilizer at a temperature of 121 degrees centigrade for an hour and a half. The contents will remain sterile for a period of up to seven years if not opened. The production of a lens involves 14 steps. If we exclude the rather lengthy hydration process, actual lens production requires only 15 minutes. They can produce almost 1,000 contact lenses per day, all made from these tiny colored discs. Bread, so delicious, smothered in butter and jam, dipped in gravy, or used to make big, yummy sandwiches. Who can resist it? I can't. <laughs>